Nicole, I mean Nicole Wallace, Trump boys tried as results, latest on Trump kids' testimony in New York civil case, otherwise known as a robbery case. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is a Liberalism is Mental Disorder update. Nicole Wallace and MSNBC did this video, and I would say it's rather puerile, to say the least. At first she was sitting there smiling and laughing and joking. Not that there's anything wrong with smiling, but this is the wrong time to be doing it. It's obvious that she's a Trump hater. She had Suzanne Craig investigative reporter for the New York Times, and Trump hater, Glenn Kirshner, former U.S. assistant attorney, and Trump hater, and Tim Heafy, Heafy, whatever, former lead prosecutor for January 6th select committee, joined Nicole Wallace on deadline. All of them Trump haters, all of them just viciously, viciously hateful people. So I'm going to show you a couple of things uh, from the video. I'll uh, leave it in still. Now here's Nicole Wallace smiling and laughing, like I said. It's not a crime. I think it's unprofessional, given the uh, nature of what's going on here. She doesn't even understand that these are communists. Of course, she's probably a communist herself. So, we'll give you a couple more pictures here. All right, here are the photos of the communist Trump haters. From left to right, Suzanne Craig, Trump hater and communist. Glenn Kirshner, communist, and Tim Heafy, Heapy, whatever, communist. All of them Trump haters, all of them uh, afraid to say what the truth is. Uh, this is a total sham trial. Nobody was defrauded. The loans got paid back. There's no crime here. There's no... Uh, basically anything here other than they're trying to steal Trump's fortune from him. The judge is also a Trump hater and a left-wing activist. So Trump is, you know, being screwed here royally. This is a total sham trial. But I just wanted to show you the face of these uh, leftist pinko commies. So, uh, you know who they are. This is unbelievable. All of them have Trump derangement syndrome. Maybe take a couple more uh, screenshots here. Now, look down at the bottom. Trump's children take the witness stand in the civil trial. Children, they're not children. They're adults. It's... Uh, NBC, uh, MSNBC is calling them children. Utterly disgusting, totally reprehensible, and not objective reporting at all. There's no objectivity here whatsoever. Well, anyway, let's see if I can look for, uh, Another soundbite or two. Here's Smiling Wallace with that disgusting hag on the right. Uh, 
she kept complaining that Trump's sons, they could have used that and they would have been accurate. Trump's sons didn't know the details about uh, these things. Well, I'm the same way. You know, I take my taxes in to the preparer every year, hand them paperwork. When it's done, I sign my life away and write a check to the IRS or whatever. Or New York State or whatever. Sometimes I get money back. Whatever the case is. But I don't look at it. I've given up looking at it a long time ago. I used to do my own taxes. But they made the form so hard to obtain that finally just said screw it. And with my... I'm constantly under the gun as far as time goes and appointments and everything else. So I just basically said screw it. I don't even look at the numbers hardly. Just here you go. They do it. I pay my tab. Then I'm out of there. So I'm not surprised at all that Trump's sons, not children, uh, don't know the details of some of these things either. Even went as far as to uh, say that the um, Trump's apartment was 10,000 square feet when he said it was 30,000 square feet. I don't know anything about that. It's just ridiculous. This is bad, horrible journalism, and it deserves a liberalism as a mental disorder update. Thanks for watching, and we're Facts of Mars.